What's poppin'? I mean, like, what's really good? It's your girl, K, back at it again with another video. And today, I'm showing y'all how to get this bomb ponytail. So, right here, basically, I'm just parting down the middle. And then I'm parting a section on the side for two braids. It's kind of hard to explain. But yeah, so right now I'm just taking some water and spraying one side. And I'm going to use a brush to kind of get the water through it, kind of soften the hair, make stuff so much easier. Now I'm taking some Ego Styler and my gel brush, and I'm just putting some gel. I use a lot of gel, y'all. Don't judge me. And I'm just brushing that through my hair just to make it easier to braid. And I can't explain to you how to braid. I don't even know how to braid. So I don't know how I ended up doing this and making it look decent because I really don't know how to braid but what I'm trying to do here is braid so if you can braid this should be easier for you but hopefully you're not coming to my video to try to figure out how to braid because I can't tell you how to do that for anything so I'm braiding it all the way down to the ends then <laughs> Then I'm going to do the other side. Now I'm spraying the rest of my hair, the top section first, and I'm spraying it with water. And then I'm going to take a brush just to help slick that down to make it easier to pull back into a ponytail. Like I'm doing here. So once I'm done with this, I'm just taking some more Eco Styler and I'm using this on that back section just to kind of help slick the hair back, okay? We need some hold to hold back this curly hair because it really can't be tamed any other way. So we're going to brush that back and then we're going to do the same thing with the under section. Spray it with some water, brush it, get some gel, put it on there, brush that through. Then, once we've gotten it all smooth, we're just going to brush it all back into a ponytail and secure it with the hair tie. You can use rubber bands, but that can really damage your hair. But you're going to pull those braids back into it too, and you're going to make this ponytail as tight as possible without trying to like break your hair and making it comfortable. Now once we've struggled to get the whole ponytail through this ponytail holder, this struggle is real. If you have curly hair, you know the struggle of getting your hair into a ponytail. Once we've got it done, we're going to tighten that and then I'm going to split the ponytail into sections. I'm going to spray it with water and detangle it. I like to do it after I get it into a ponytail just because it's easier to manage. But you can do it anyway. You can do it before and detangle or just do it ever works for you but once you've got the whole ponytail detangled it should look pretty much like this and then we're going to take that split it into three sections and we're going to braid this all into one big plait those edges need help y'all look at that disgusting so once we've got that all the way down to the end we're just taking a hair elastic and securing it once we got this little doodle -doo braid on the back of our head, then we're going to get our bundles ready. You can use straight or curly. And what I do is I attach a hair tie to the end of the bundle, like here. And I'm just going to use that and attach it to the end of my braid. I hope that didn't confuse you, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to start wrapping the bundle by the weft around my braid. 
so depending on your liking you can wrap it more towards the bottom to have a fuller bottom or you can like slowly gradually work your way up quicker to get a more what's the word like not stringy but just not as thick on the bottom so that it like gradually gets up so we're gonna wrap that whole weft around and then if you don't end up getting all the way to the top with that one weft then here so here I'm just showing you once I got to the end of this bundle I just started to wrap a little piece of hair around it to secure it's that raining. bundle and I'm taking another bundle doing the same thing and wrapping it all the way around till I get to the root of my braid. It's really hard to explain this y'all. So once we've gotten that done, then I'm just spraying my hair with some more water because this is just going to help slick everything back down. Any flyaways that may have came up. So I'm just brushing that back. And then I'm just going to grab a head scarf to secure this while I work some more on the ponytail. So now what I'm doing is just using that same spray bottle with just water and I'm just wetting the whole ponytail. Not dripping wet, but you just want it to be pretty wet so that it's easy to detangle. And I'm just using a wide tooth comb and we're just going to comb through, detangle everything. And don't worry about it pulling out because it should be pretty secure to your head. So we're just going to do the same to the other side. Just making sure that it's completely detangled for the best results. Now I'm just taking this Cantu spray and I'm spraying this throughout the hair. Then I'm taking some Shea Moisture spray. I'm not spray. Some Shea Moisture cream, some hair milk and distributing that throughout the hair. So you want to treat the ponytail like it is just your hair. So whatever you would do to your natural hair when it's wet, you're going to do the same thing to the ponytail to make sure that you're maintaining the hair and making it look as good as possible and natural as possible. Now we're going to remove the scarf and we're just going to get to working on them edges, okay? Slick them baby hairs. And then that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I decided to do a voiceover because it would go by faster and I have a lot of videos backed up on my phone right now. So like I don't have that crazy amount of storage. I posted a clip of my hair before on Snapchat. And a lot of you guys went crazy and like asked me to show you guys. Um, I pretty much already said this already, but I used 14, 16, no, 12, 14, and 16 inch bundles and ended up getting a length all the way down my back. Personally, I like my ends to be very thin, um, and the root to be very full, so that's just me but personally if you guys want your ends to be a little bit fuller then you can wrap it more times towards the bottom instead of spacing it out as much as i did but yeah so that's pretty much it i feel like my makeup looks really bright right now oh wow i forgot i had a video playing that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed um this usually lasts me at minimum a week without really having to touch it up um, and then if I touch up the ponytail just a little bit and maybe like retwist a little bit, then it'll last me like another week or so before I get irritated with it. That's pretty much it. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know some videos y'all want to see. Don't mind my nails. It's okay. Um, and yeah, so I love y'all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> 
y'all i was trying to be cool or whatever and like block the camera to like in the video but my finger was so oily that this is what it did to my camera wow okay my eyes <laughs>